So we'll quickly show you these. I've just started to knock the tabs off here. You can see all the bolts. All these bolts. Not one of them tight. And you can see on here on the heads, look at this. You can see on the heads where they've been rubbing on the castings. Right, we've got the rest of these tabs knocked off. And we'll get this core pulled out and we'll have a look at it. I'm going to pull the cone out of here this morning because it, as you can see, it's slack. I've knocked all the little locking tabs down. I'll quickly, all these, I haven't loosened these previously. These are as tight as they have been when the tractor was operating. They're all finger tight. Get these popped out the way. Let's have a look inside of here. Oh yeah, right. The threads on that. Beautiful, eh? Two new bolts required for that one. Well, the middle's out of that one. That's totally gone. Finished. Let's get lift this off. There we go. Three dowels in here. One, two, three. And if we look at that focus, let's stick with the wear on that one. New dowel required. Let's have a look. They're the same. So we need three new dowels to go in there. Look at them. Nice shoulders on them. Okay. We'll lift the side gear out. There we go. Wipe. Now, the first thing I can see with this, you can see a slight wear pattern on here, but all these shoulders are lovely and clean. As you can see a wear pattern right in the middle of the truth where you would expect it to be. Oh, look, there's no, there's no sharp edges. Nothing. Lovely oil scrolls there. Nice and clean to pull the oil from the middle out to lubricate the faces, the thrust faces on this. We'll pop that there. Right, we're going to we're doing here. I'm going to pull this. <coughs> I'm going to pull the shaft out of here. Get these two gears out of here. We'll get the opposite side gear out, so we can have a look, see what's going on with this. So let's get this set up in a way we can get at it. Can you see? Yep, you can. Hang on, we'll get two another pair of pliers. Right pointy nose pliers and put that in there get a hold of that one just trying to straighten this pin out as best we can that's it we might be able to get it there let's have a look
Tell you what, let's get a pair of side cutters on that. Might be able to pull them out with a set of side cutters. So it's Christmas. Oh, a big pliers on. We're getting there. Things are showing signs of improvement. There we go. Jobs are good. I'll pop that back down there. And get the shaft out now. Or brass drift on it. Give it a bit of a tap. Whoa. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Getting that gear, not so bad. However, however, this shaft in here. Let me get that open. I think we can uh, quite safely say that I need a bigger punch at the minute. big punch into here. Jobs are good. Pull the other side gear out. The gears aren't that bad. Unfortunately the shaft has seen better days. Not to worry, not to worry. I would imagine that's going to be about standard size that we can. That's nearly worn through there. What? See that? Look at the wear on that. Unbelievable. We'll measure that just for the. The hell of it, because we can. I'll go in here. Now we can. I'll get this side gear out of here. There we go, it's just stuck with oil. Bit of a vacuum going on behind it. Not bad. Again, nice clean edges. Nice clean edges. 
I think what they've done, I think they've been in here and they've replaced their planetary gears because they look in too good a condition to have been off that shaft. I would have expected the middles to be out of them and everything and they're not. Where that shaft is not worn they fit nicely there they fit like a dog's lug or as my Australian friend would say like a cock in a sock so shaft required absolutely definitely right we could also whiz this uh, the crown wheel off let's have a look in here but I don't think we'll bother to be honest with you because that crown wheel crown wheel in itself looks good So, I think, the, I think the conclusion that we've come to with this is, they've come in here, that's alright that, it's alright nice and clean there, no burrs on the teeth, so for the sake possibly two bolts, three dowels, and a shaft. That diff could be put back together and be a good one. I think they've been in, I think they've replaced the crown wheel, they've replaced the planetary and they've messed it up by not reassembling it to the correct tensions and the correct procedures. Okay what we'll do now, we will just feel for sharp edges on there anywhere. If there's any burrs, there's no, no horrible gritty dirty oil. There's dirty oil in it, but not grit. What's that? rubbish in it. Right, I think that just needs a bath. Pop that back in there. Right? I think it all just needs a good bath. Get some bits. Sort it out. Right, so, as I say, we'll uh, get a, a good bolt, good bolt, that's a good bolt, even the threads are damaged on that one, but we can check all the, we'll check all the thread holes. We'll see if these are uh, good. Yep, we're looking good so far. Those tab washers are put on in such a way that the overlay, the overlay, 
the uh, dowels, keep the dowels locked in. Right. So all the threads look good. However, on a closer inspection, those holes there that the dowels fit into or anything but round. So that was say the okie dokie. Right. <coughs> so I think we'll call it a day there. We'll give this lot a bath, we'll give it a wash down, a bath. We'll make some phone calls to people that know more about diffs than I do. We'll see what we can do with this, if anything. If not, a scrap. It's a way, isn't it? In which case, we'll pull the uh, we'll pull the crown wheel off. Because someone might need the crown wheel. It's just a casting that could be junk. Pull the crown wheel off. We'll have a look around and see what we can get done. All right. Lovely. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for coming to visit with. I will see you hopefully next time. Don't forget, please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Um, it does help us out tremendously to grow the channel. It doesn't cost you a penny. It doesn't cost you anything to like and subscribe to us. But uh, it does help us out tremendously. Thank you very much. See you later. Ta-da now.